Hi everyone, Mary Nespresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me on this sunny April Tuesday, April 16th, 2024, I think. The date on my camera is wrong. <laughs> but um, today we're going to make another 12 by 12 uh, mini album or mini, I don't know what I'm going to call it, uh, pocket album, maybe. But I got inspired by pink strawberries. And we're going to do that, except I'm going to modify it a little bit from this one. <clears throat> so we can use up almost every scrap. <clears throat> but thanks, but the usual, thanks to... H. Coates, Susie, Christine, Sherry, Kathy, and Jolene <clears throat> for your kind reviews. I truly appreciate the reviews lately and the favorites and the likes and the shares and whatever else you do to help me um, boost myself in the algorithm. <clears throat> It seems we're all under the curse slash authority of the algorithm. But um, one new product this week, uh, daisies, and that will be on Etsy. And I only printed out one. Next week, we'll get back to, a, we'll take a break from this. But this is what we're going to be doing, and it is a four pocket little folder. Um, well, actually, no, it was a three pocket. I made it a four pocket, and I'm probably going to add another pocket. So these were. Um, leftover, partial leftover, and partial just coordinating because I didn't have enough paper by the time I got through. So there is three pockets in this little folder. Two up here and one over here. And I added this one. And I made a little closure with the leftover from the paper. So what you'll be needing is a 10 by 10. And I have two here in case I make a mistake. Uh, you really do need double sided. I hope to get to more where you don't need double sided. And I think I'm going to go with this one because this paper is a little heavier. This is from the sheets at Joann's. So if you're familiar with that weight, that weight is pretty much perfect. So you're going to need a 10 by 10 and I already cut mine down. And then you'll have a 2 by 12 and a 2 by 10. And we will use those at the end. So let me get my scoreboard here. And you're going to need some punches for your notches, some glue, some scissors, a scoring tool, or a scoreboard. So we're gonna. I am gonna. I'm using. Um, you know, I'm gonna pretend this is pretty much non-directional, so that I don't have to worry about it. I generally find that's more helpful the first time around, but you're gonna want to pay attention to your directional if you are using directional. 
after you learn how to make this. So our first score, you know, we're at the 10 by 10. Our first score will be at 5 inches. Then we're going to make a quarter turn. And we're going to score at 2. Five and three quarters, and nine and a half. Okay. I'm hoping you will see that, but I don't know. So that's five quarter turn. Score at two inches, five and three quarters, and nine and a half. And I'll be bringing back that scoreboard in one second. So first, I'm going to fold in half at our five inch mark. So we can get the lay of the land. And then I'm going to fold it to two inch. And we'll be doing something on that two inch. And then I'm going to fold it the half inch. And we'll be doing something with that. And then I'm going to fold at the 575. So, you're going to go turn your paper so your fold is at the bottom because your pockets have to be at the top. So the first cut we're going to make is at the two inch mark. Up to the two inch score, or the five inch mark up to the two inch score, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to get my stuff a little better scored here so I'm nice and straight. Okay. Then I am going to cut out this half inch, which I'm going to call the top because my pockets are at the top. So I'm just going to turn it around for ease of cutting and then I'll flip it directionally correct so that you can see. So I have that. Okay. So that's what's happening with this. Pockets in the top. One flap will be coming in. And then one flap will be our cover. So I'm going to go back to the scoreboard a minute. And make another little eighth score here because that's at the two inch mark. So 
so that my book has a little bit of a spine. She did a quarter inch. I'm not going to do it that wide. So this, this fold is at the two inch. So I'm just going to come over an eighth below the two inch and make another score. You do not have to do this. It will still fold. But in the event you want to stuff this, you might want to have another score there. Okay, so let me unfold it again so I don't lose you. Okay, I'm also going to trim off a little angle here. And a little angle here because this is getting glued for our pocket. So we're going to fold up. We're going to glue that half inch and then we're going to fold in. And then we're going to close our book and that's our cover. Okay, so now I'm probably going to do my um, divots or, you know, pockets. And those are going to be in these, these two right here. And I did them in the center last time. So I'm just going to do them in the center this time. So there we go. And then we're going to have a pocket here, which I wish I would have originally um, moved that notch over or put it on the other side. So in order to avoid that, she cut that off and she didn't even glue that. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make a triangle so that I can have a folder flap like so. Okay, hopefully this is understandable. Here's your book. Here's your cover flap. So let's get this glued down first. And I don't even, maybe she glued it at the bottom. I can't remember. I'm going to glue it at the bottom. Then I have a little tuck. Then I'm going to glue it here and here. And if you want to glue it here, that's up to you. And I realized right before, after the camera was already going, maybe I should fill my glue up a little bit.
Um, oh, geez, that came undone. I guess I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. Between those pockets. It's not necessary. <clears throat> there will be a fold. But I'm going to do it anyway. Just got glue on my paper. Put a clip there a minute. Re glue this. Or did I glue that? Maybe I didn't. Re-glue this. <laughs> okay. Now we are constructed. Our basic book is constructed. We have a tiny little spine. everything again so it gets a nice fold. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take my 10 inch piece and I'm going to make another pocket for over here. And that is going to be, I think it was three Um, three seven five inches. Yeah, the entire width is three point seven five, but I'm going to go a tiny shorter just so I don't have any problem closing that. And I'm using my 10 inch leftover strip. Okay, here's my little pocket. The first one. Oh boy, I didn't want to use that, but I guess I'm going to. Put a little notch in there, which I can't see again. I swear it's hard to see down here. These lights. Okay, well that's off a little bit. Also might need another trim. Let me go over a little bit. That's better. Let me take a little bit more off. <clears throat> it's a little tight. Just a hair. A sixteenth. Okay. That's better. Okay, so this is pocket four. Hope everyone's doing well. Maybe, maybe we are finally officially spring. I see green and I see um, flowers and such beginning to appear. Flowering trees. You know, they cut down all the flowering trees on our main street. 
why I don't know but it was always beautiful at this time of year <coughs> So I realized that when I went went through another town that still had their flowering trees, that ours would be blooming and ours are gone now. So I want to put another little pocket over here, I think. And I'm going to make it... Um, this color. Just going to mark it with a pencil. <clears throat> and I'm get, still going off my 10 inch strip. So, yeah, my sugar is low. <clears throat> So I had a hard time choosing this week. <laughs> I made one thing and then changed my mind. I'll save that for another time. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna put a smaller notch. You know what? I might, well, no, I better go in the middle. So I'm using a smaller notch for that. And then I have <coughs> tuck, pocket, 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 pocket. I had a very busy week. Guess what I forgot to do? I'm the worst mom in the world. Completely forgot about it. I forgot. Well, we went up to uh, my daughter's college for a meeting. And in 30 days, she will have wrapped up her senior career, her high school career. And she had to sell these tickets. And I got on the, um, I didn't understand what the prize was and how it worked and et cetera. So I got on the um, Facebook page to try to find out <clears throat> because, of course, her excuse is they never tell us anything. And my husband, forget about that. <laughs> he's, he's not familiar with American society. And selling tickets and raffles and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so um, I got on there to um, try to figure out how it worked. And I realized that I forgot to get her senior pictures last August. So there's everyone with their senior picture. All the seniors and... She has to use her school photo because her mom forgot. So I felt really bad. And then I told her, I said, okay, well, you finally have a legitimate litany of com in, legitimate um, complaint in your litany of complaints about how poor your parents are. And, um, she just said, don't worry about it. I don't care. So I'm going to fold this in half just to, just
just to get rid of it. And then make another tag. So that I'll have three tags with our final strip. Now actually I wouldn't even cut these into a tag until I decided what I was going to do with them. I would just store them together because remember all these things are to keep in, keep in our stash until we use them. So I have three tags on this one. I use that little strip to make a closure and this has two, four, six layers and the um, pocket goes underneath that middle or the flap goes underneath that middle flower. I don't have enough. I don't even really like them being that tall. So I do think for right now I'm just going to store all, the, all of these in here. But I will show you the pockets with my other my other cards here I made with just some coordinating paper. That even goes well together. And I'll leave all of that up to you. The closure and the um, what you want to do with those remaining strips. I mean, <clears throat> you could do a belly band probably around there. Cut them in half. You could do all kinds of things, but I probably am just going to save them. And then when I am ready to use this little thing, I'll make something out of them. So, that's pretty much it for this week. And next week we'll, we'll take a break and we'll go back to the regularly scheduled program. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Okay, everyone, I think this is going to be called a one-sheet pocket album. Once you learn how to do this, you can take it up to a 12 by 12 if you want, but I thought her suggestion was cute as a 10 by 10 and then that gave me enough just a couple little strips to do something else with the same coordinating paper but it's not it's not really bulky at all even with all of that in it and I guess <clears throat> I could take a second here to show you what you might do with it in a journal. Um, let's see if I can find a pocket here. Personally, I would just tuck it in a pocket or clip it in. But you probably could go around here, here, and here. Make another pocket. And have an interactive little piece on your page. But I personally would have to say I would probably just tuck that in a pocket at the back or the front of my journal 
or just include it with all your little extra ephemera. So that's what I would do probably. Okay, thank you so much <coughs> for watching. I hope I did this tutorial well and I will put the link to hers so that you can see it again and see what she did. And once you get it, you can add um, the closure and maybe we're at, actually, you know what I was going to do? I was going to put two pockets in there. <laughs> now I forgot. I forgot my uh, uh, even my own. I was going to put another pocket in there. Another pocket down there. Tiny you could do and I forgot yeah because I had an intention to use up that entire 10 inch strip so do as I say not as I do I should have made a note of that and I didn't I was just thinking of it last night before I fell asleep okay everyone thanks again I'll see you next time bye